hey guys good morning to all of you uh, how are you all i hope you all are doing good and my name is siddharth mohanty and uh, you are watching the thought market leader so today i have an interesting topic to discuss uh, this is all about e bikes so what are e bikes and how do we get it and what is the sustainable mode of uh, transportation and do you think that e bikes are more sustainable than our normal cars and uh, the other electric uh, cars that, are, that that is there like tesla and all so there are a lot of companies who have come up with e bikes like i i remember one company like yulu yulu y u l u it's quite confusing yeah i i, I perhaps it's a chinese company i don't know uh, yeah so i have seen this uh, scooters uh, everywhere in the city so i stay in mumbai so i see uh, their scooters and you will see the scooters parked in uh, near about market complexes housing complexes where you know what like the one important benefit uh, of using this e bikes or e scooters are it's like you know you can ride on your own i mean uh, there's a parking space you go there and you take it there is an app and then you uh, <clears throat> you know uh, you pay in the app itself uh, through the payment gateway and then you booked it for a month or for two months or three months there are different plans and then you take it for a ride you can actually get into the smaller and smaller sections of the roads in the city you can go anywhere you like and also it may not be an option of a uh, long way transportation like you want to go from one place to another place maybe a distance of 100 km or 200 km or maybe 10 or 20 km is is would be far enough but if you have let's say for example 2 km or max 5 km okay uh, you can actually get along with it because uh, it is very convenient because uh, i i have ridden this while i was in germany so i used to see a lot of e scooters because in germany you will see lot of uh, mostly in uh, you know foreign countries you will see that lot of e scooters are there and people ride it every day uh, to commute to the office because it is very very uh, kind of convenient for them Uh, you know and traffic friendly i mean the you know, if there is a traffic it is very very useful yeah but if it is a long distance uh, tour then it is uh, it's it's not so convenient but if it is a small distance uh, transportation you can do it and these are on demand because when are you uh, needing this you can get it yeah so about the charging stations uh, you get the charging stations nearby if you don't get it what happens the company who owns this e bikes what they do is they uh, uh, they get their trucks i don't know if these trucks are electric or uh, run by fossil fuels like petrol and all coal so i don't or diesel i don't know about that um, i think these are uh, electric sorry uh, petrol cars like petrol petrol trucks or diesel trucks i suppose because that emits lot of carbon dioxide because uh, and there is a pollution uh, so think about a scenario when a truck actually takes this bikes to a charging station like it's it's a charging station which has like say for 200 or thousands of uh, e bikes come and then they they charge these things and uh, then they uh, take it back to the location because that happens right so maybe people are not so comfortable taking one bike to each charging station and charge it rather than uh, doing this it's better to uh, you know a, a large truck comes and uh, offload all these uh, bikes and take it to the charging stations so while transport uh, transportation while commuting the truck generates electric uh, uh, carbon dioxide that's the problem so we are thinking about sustainability we are thinking about uh, emitting less co2 we are thinking about uh, reducing the greenhouse uh, uh, emissions and uh, so the problem is we have to look at each point of transportation or commu- uh, commute where where the pollution is happening we have to pinpoint those particular uh, areas what is happening and then you can actually see that okay this is the real sustainable way of uh, transportation so what is happening is you know uh, there are different ways of uh, doing it like you produce these e bikes like there is a production stage and there is a usage stage during the production or manufacturing you got to deal with batteries this lithium batteries where uh, 
and and you actually source a lot of raw materials and a lot of things parts um, and uh, instruments electronic and electric instruments and then you assemble it and then you transform it to a e bike right so during this process you might be generating a lot of uh, actually producing a lot of electricity and uh, to have this uh, end product and these batteries are really uh, problematic because uh, you know what like i'll give one one example uh, this this e bikes actually there is a research which has been done in us and they actually generate 202 grams of co2 per bike per passenger in the whole uh, in their in their lifetime right so uh, 202 gram of co2 per kilometer per passenger which is even 3x more than three times more than the our normal cars or uh, you talk about think about the electric cars i mean it's still poll polluted but i don't know about the, there are a lot of research going on about which mode of transportation is more sustainable now there is a fashion and modern style of you now there is a, there are e bikes e scooters people are using it i mean we as a user we don't think so much about the green uh, uh, greenhouse uh, strategies or uh, co2 emissions or zero co2 uh, to ensure zero, zero co2 emissions or sustainability or all that yeah now people have people are learning these things and they are actually getting more uh, eco friendly and using more greener, greener options yes now people are learning it and people have started understanding what is the uh, what is the matter behind uh, all this kind of transportations but yes there is always a difference between using an electric scooters or e bikes and our normal cars or electric cars we are the users who will decide what to do we have we are the users who will decide who will do the research and will find out what is best for us what is best way of com communication i mean uh, at the end of the day the company who is actually producing or uh, manufacturing these e bikes they should think about multiple things the user friendliness how easy it can it can be run and then how it how easily it can go to the smaller roads or bigger roads or whatever it can be the pollution part the co2 emissions part or sustainability part and how long it can exist right what is the life lifespan of this e bikes because i have heard that the more you use it like if the lifespan is more then it uh, it it so it has it it has its own lifetime value you know so it exists for a longer time then it emits less pollution i mean it it emits less uh, co2 so what happens is you have to decide what is best for uh, best for you and if i look at the user part for example i am using e bikes then i can go anywhere like to the markets a smaller section of the roads or you know the, to the smaller societies uh, and i can travel max up to 5 to 6 kilometers because beyond that you will get tired let's let's think the practical aspect uh, aspect of it because you will get tired you cannot stand because you have to stand of course yes it is running faster than a normal pedaling uh, cycle which you have and of course it is a better option than walking but walking and cycling has its own uh, benefits health benefits but scooter is something like you know you can actually get along and get to the smaller sections of the roads that's the benefit and i would like to know from all of you that what do you think uh, have you ever used this e scooters or e bikes if you have already used it what is your experience uh, of this and how do you think that this e bikes are actually sustainable e scooters are sustainable in nature and do you think that it is the best option for you which is better than your electric cars or normal cars that you run on petrol or diesel if it is so then or it is a better alternative than a bicycle or walking if it is so please let me know comment this video uh, on this video and please subscribe this and i would like to know more about it and let's think about like what is the most sustainable way of uh, commute and how do you like to commute so please comment and i will see you in the next video with an interesting uh, conversation and some interesting ideas with you till then goodbye see you bye bye take care